Hey, listen, welcome to my apartment. It's apartment five H's, the Gordon Guard DJ self. My neighbor's still in the building. She took over a little bit, snuck in my crib and all that. But um, today is a day where um, I get to act manly. Why I say I get to act manly? Because I get to talk about sports. Now, uh, my, uh, the, the, this gentleman that's on my left-hand side, uh, I, I, before I even introduce you, I know nothing about sports. Oh. I am one of the guys, right, that I used to try to get the, the athletes' chicks. You understand? <laughs> By the way, through music. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? Because I wasn't the basketball player, I wasn't a football player, and I wasn't a fighter. I was just the guy that knew music, and I, I, I got the girls through music. Oh, you like such and such, such and such? Playing the music, blah, 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 DJing. And doing different Girl, things like that. Music. Lamar Roach is here. What's up, boy? Man, what's up, man? How you feeling, I'm man? Good. Well, first I'm of good. respect, man. Man, man for sure. Thanks you for having me, bro. All right. So I, I, I want to dumb it down first for people that are like me. You are a boxer. Right. Right? Right. Uh, would you consider yourself a fighter or a boxer? Um, and, and, and this is a two-part question. And what is the difference? Okay, so I would consider myself both. I would okay. consider myself a fighter because of my background and um, how I came up as a boxer and how I worked my way to how I am. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that question can be directed, I mean, like the way you direct the question can be answered a few different ways. So I'm thinking as far as like fighter, boxer thing, you're probably talking about my style. In the ring, are you? Mm -hmm. That's also too. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because um, there are people like me, right? I I I'm, I used to be into boxing years ago, Tyson, yeah. Floyd, yeah. like that, and then I fell out of love with boxing, and 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 then I feel like there's a new crop of boxers such as yourself. And is bringing a new breath of fresh air into boxing. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like the new wave have new styles of boxing. Also, I guess because of time also. And I guess you guys studied the greats yeah. and evolved. Definitely. So when I do say that, um, I, I'm, you know, sometimes in hip hop, people say, I ain't a rapper. I'm a hustler that rap. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. so that's no, why I'm get, asking. I get okay. your drift. Uh -huh. All right, so... Yeah, I'm a fighter. Okay, cool. I'm a fighter. <laughs> all right, all right. I ain't have like the whole celebrity backing or someone to propel me to the top. I worked my way everywhere I got. Mm -hmm. I earned every shot I got or every at, at every level of boxing. I'm talking about from a kid to when I turned professional, anything like that. So when I turned pro, I got signed to uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions, which mm -hmm. is which was one of the biggest uh, you know boxing promoters in boxing, which still is one today. Mm -hmm. So that was straight out of the amateurs. I didn't you know no offense to the people who fought on the club shows or anything like that, but I I work I work for that I work for that and all that. So that's why I say I'm a fighter because even then I still wasn't getting the notoriety like the you know the Devons of the world, the Tanks and they had people to propel them or a platform to, especially like the Ryan Garcia's, to propel their platform through social media and stuff right. like that. I ain't had that. I still managed to become world champion. I still managed to be here today mm -hmm. and one of the biggest fights of the year. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I Talk agree. Talk your shit. Yeah. I agree. So yeah. now, me knowing less about boxing, I'm being super honest, right? Uh -huh. Wait, because before I lose my thought, how did you get discovered by Oscar De La Hoya's? Um... What is this? You bagged his shorty? <laughs> no, you keep I it real. It. I ain't, he I always ain't brings it in. <laughs> um, mind you, the shorties was looking for me. Yes, yeah, so I see. <laughs> I knew it. I see, see, always got see, something to do with it. Okay, okay, it probably okay. necessarily Hello. wasn't his, but they probably bumped into somebody. <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh, I know. Yeah, you're the oh, house. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look how what was going. Excuse gold. me. Okay, okay. Men, men find out things through the girls. I'm telling you. Go ahead. So, uh... As an amateur, I won 11 national championships. That was a, a lot. That's probably still is a lot today. But uh, back in 2014, that's when I turned pro. That's when they, um, I, I, Al Heyman and them tried to contact me too, whatever the case may be. I had options. Uh, Mike Tyson, when he was doing his promotion, 
um, as well. They flew me out and all that stuff. But I guess scouts. I mean, you hear about they they're they're on top of like the the top of the amateur crop. I was uh, on the USA team uh, as a uh, in the men's division. Um, when I was 17, I won the National Golden Gloves. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, but that is a, that's a men's tournament. That's when I was first able to fight men. And, um, you know, they took interest in me, and, you know, we sat down, we got the business right, and that was the, that was the most, that was the best business proposal to me. So that's how I got discovered by them, and then they signed me. Now, so I'm, I want to try to compare and parallel music to boxing you're telling me you signed to um a promotion company mm -hmm. why don't boxers do their own promotion company they do so, such as yourself uh like my so right now i'm a free agent mm -hmm. uh, i'm not with anyone um my contract with golden boy was up about two three years ago two two years ago two and a half years ago so, uh, you know, I was in line for a world title shot. I wasn't a champ yet. We, the, so the champion was signed to a promotional company. Mm -hmm. And my dad has his own promotional company that we have no excuse of, no excuse boxing. Gotcha. It's, it's no excuse promotions. So it's not big time like PBC and Al Heyman. Of course, they have the backing, they have the money. They have the production, all that. So we chose not to sign with PBC because they tried to sign us. And, you know, we like, all right, we're going to double down. We're going to win this world championship, and we're going to have the leverage. I start our own start. Okay. Because my dad already had his promotional company going, but me having what I have, the world championship. Mm -hmm. It's leverage. That, it's leverage. Got you. That's something a promoter wants mm -hmm. because that's – in hindsight, more publicity, um, eyeballs. more of an eyeballs, uh -huh. noise, and they want to see champions fight other champions. Yes. And then, you know what I'm saying? Especially just, if you're good. Bills. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. For sure. Uh -huh. So that's the thing. So they do, but it, it's about to, okay. What? Uh -huh. it, it, require, it, require, it, it require cash. No, so that's I, I, the reason why I'm asking, <clears throat> because, you know, um, I, I try to get into boxing a couple times, and I'm always going to tell this story because I was very pissed off at this guy. I invested into a boxer, and, and he I won't say his name, but I guess whoever's into boxing knows. And um, I put some money in this guy, and uh, a big fight he had, he wound up getting caught uh, with steroids. Wow. <clears throat> Got his, his license revoked, and a year they reinstated him and then got caught again. That's crazy. Meatball. I you were meatball. I, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> so, you know, in the beginning, I tried to give him a couple of dollars and stuff like that. So I'm just asking because just in case I become a meatball again and invest in somebody, at least I can know how to uh, get a return in my investment. That's all. So me having a conversation to you today, mm -hmm. um, I do want to just get into um, boxing and I, I know you're here to promote the fight also. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to get into that. All because right. they told me D.C. and Baltimore don't fuck with each other. Hey. But then I heard D.C. <laughs> niggas always be whipping the Baltimore niggas' ass. <laughs> I got all that. I'm, I'm, I'm fully focused. You understand? I, I, done, I done killed so many Morgan State broads. Yeah. You understand see, what I'm see, saying? See? I'm just keeping it real. I'm one of them you... guys. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I'm fully focused. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So, so now... Um, this this we'll, we'll go to this fight with Tank. Um, from my knowledge, now you moved up. Yeah, is that a disadvantage or an advantage for you? That's an advantage for me. I'm not a small guy at my weight class. Okay, and if you ever seen Tank, y'all know he's he little. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm naturally bigger than him, and he's a weight class above me. Mm -hmm. So that's five less pounds I gotta cut. Um. And you know, less strenuous on the weight cut, and then I get to retain more strength. Mm -hmm. So, go, going into a fight, um, or is it is it better to, um, I want to use the word, um, be afraid or not be afraid? Why I say that? Because sometimes people say you being afraid 
brings out the courage in you. And nah, nine boxing. Okay, fuck that shit. Hell no. Okay, come on, all right. If you're afraid, you're in the wrong sport. The reason why I say that, right? Because I be seeing sometimes people be, and and you could tell what, yo, this nigga's pussy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you're in the wrong sport. Okay. It's like you can smell it. It's like a dog. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. So, (laughs) nah, that's that's facts. That shit is over with. No. Well, you were just, wait a minute. (laughs) So, you were just saying, because you were looking at all the snacks and you were like, oh, we're eight weeks out. I could do the snacks. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by that? Because you were talking about because of the weight class and all those. Okay. okay. And I'm moving up. So, So okay. I got room. Is is that a myth that you shouldn't have sex before? I was gonna ask that question too. If my dad watching this, I, I'm gonna be so so. Listen I, 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 again, right? Nah, no funny, no funny, no funny. Uh-huh. It's really like when it comes to science. Yes, it's true. You shouldn't. Mm-hmm. You definitely shouldn't. So I want you to take your own advice too. I'm not gonna ask you yes or no because I don't want to know. You're telling you know someone saying? not to have sex. Yes, I wow. am. I, I am. I, I'm gonna what? tell you why. Right? Let me take note. October 22nd yes. at 4:13 yes. p.m. Afterwards, Eastern Standard Time. Do your thing. Uh, yeah, raw yeah, dog. Yeah, nah, for you sure. understand what I'm saying? Sushi. You know what I'm saying? 100 <laughs> percent right. But before then, but again, I'm gonna let you finish your science quiz. Then I but I I spit the old the old head shit. I get. Look, they keep a spade a spade. All right. You having sex? Obviously. The end all goal is to get off. Mm-hmm. What happens if you if you go sushi and you get off? This is the best. Sushi is the best. But go ahead. Hey, you go okay. sushi, you get mm-hmm. off. You got to think about what's coming out of you. Okay. All that stuff makes a whole human. Yes. Uh-huh. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. obviously that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff coming out of you. That's a lot of a lot of things coming out of your body it's that a you big need release. to perform. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. Like you need, you need that. You need it. So when it comes to performance, you need testosterone. You know what I'm saying? You need your energy. You need, and it's like the physical and the emotional. Like all that stuff is like that shit is real, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just probably some freak of nature people that they used to it. Like that's what they do. They probably used to it and used to performing. But it's just not scientifically. It's not the best thing to do. It's it's not at all. So why do you think some boxers have a hard time um, following those rules, those scientific, those scientific rules? What you think? I'm just I don't know. What you just wait, say? How, this how is mo- the best. How it mo- is the best. Hello. How it's long crazy. are you supposed to wait? Yeah, that was a weird question. <coughs> no, yeah. just, how long are you supposed to wait? Like if they say, okay, don't have sex X amount of time before a fight. What's so, that time frame? Again, scientifically, six months, okay, I'm sorry. Six months is crazy. Oh my god! Scientifically speaking, on average, your testosterone levels will will reach a peak at about three and a half to four weeks. So, so I right, so you and, saying a month out, you that's okay. it. Oh, yeah. I think you need sure. more than a Cut. month. I'll be honest with you. And some listen. people do need it more than a month I, because it's just like, again, like I said, it's testosterone built up. It gives you a better advantage physically than it does depleted, for sure. I think I right. he's the professional. I'll be keeping real. I, I'm a professional creep. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to say I don't. I think it, I think at least three months, man. Come on, three man. months. Three months. Come on. Yeah, before a fight. Yeah, like you, you know, a month is good. Okay, look, a month. That's a month nothing. Because by a month, I don't want like, a month without smashing. No, because like two weeks is like all right, it's fine. By a month, you like, let's go, somebody. In nah, a month, gonna be on edge. This guy's lying. You you have like whole relationships every two months. Talking about three months. Yeah, Stop. but I ain't a boxer though. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So let me right. I've 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 had I've had the pleasure of being around some boxers, and again, it's like I'm throwing them under the bus. So I don't want to mention names, right? But um, there was a a, a a a prolific great boxer, and I remember hearing that story. And he had recently, this is a recent time. Uh-oh. He had a, he had a, a a chick in his room the whole time. And I said, this nigga's going to lose. Why? Because it was like, there's no way. I don't know what they were doing in that room. I can't. You, you understand? <laughs> yeah. But you in the room. You in the you room. You understand? You in the room. And he wound up losing. 
and he wasn't set to lose. Hey. So so then a while ago, um, um, they, they talk about Meech is being out and different things like that. And I had the pleasure. I'm a old enough to have hung out with Meech. Okay. And um, there was a boxer that used to hang out also. And he, I saw him with a couple girls two, three days before the fight. And that same fight, he lost. Damn. So in my experience, I've always said, you know, discipline is the best, the best way to win fights. That's what, I, and that's what I was going to touch on okay. too. It's not just, it's because it's definitely the physical aspect, but discipline is is key. That is, that's what it is. It keeps mm -hmm. you on a straight and narrow line. It keeps you hungry. It keeps you, it keeps you ready to achieve what you have to achieve, rather than you being too relaxed and obviously. You winding down after you done finish, you know what I mean? You just let it do. I like to go to sleep and I snore. Like, oh, woo, get off me, too. I'm one of them. <laughs> don't Yo, touch get me. off. Don't yeah. touch me. Yeah. Don't nice. touch <laughs> Are you like that? Don't huh? touch me. Everybody like, like that. that? <laughs> That's not true. Not everyone is like that. Not everyone everyone is don't like touch that. me. I ain't even have to tell him. Like I ain't even have to tell him he knew. He I don't know. Everyone. No, he looks yeah. like he likes to cuddle. He looks like he likes to cuddle with the right person, though. He don't cuddle everybody. I, I cuddle with my girl. See, look. See, I told you he was a cuddler. Yeah, but but you heard with the key word with my girlfriend. There you go. Anything else, get off me. Well, no, get I... Get off me. Not everyone... Not even get off me. Listen, get off me. No, the, I understand there's certain <laughs> levels to the cuddling. Yeah. Not everyone yeah, gets a cuddle. That's it. okay. Touch me. <laughs> but how do you prepare for a fight? What's, what's your process? Uh... Hmm. You mean like egg yolk and stuff like that? Nah, I ain't on that. I'm that good. Nah, I ain't on that. Um, but I do clean up my eating habits. Uh, I, I clean up my eating habits. Uh, I try to go no fried foods, uh, less grease, um, mainly chicken and seafood, um, minimal beef. Uh, what else? Water, a gallon of water every day. Um, a, a, like a, what you call it? A curfew for my food. I can't eat after, oh, I try not to eat after 8 o'clock. Uh, so my food can digest. And do you sleep earlier? And I sleep earlier. Okay. I try to, but I do sleep earlier um, because I be tired. I be working hard. I work out twice a day, damn near every day. I get a rest day here and there um, and a recovery day to go meet with my sports doctor and stuff like that, get my body right um, because it's, the work is grueling, man. The work is, the work is hard work. So, uh, and that's for eight weeks, eight weeks straight so or more. So that's 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 really what it is, and then you know I'm I'm locked in for real, for real. I'm not outside. Um, you know I do my press, and then I'm back in the house. I'm in the game, or mm -hmm. I'm in the gym. How do you prepare for this particular fight? Because, um, also I I told you again, I'm not a hundred percent all into sports, uh -huh. but I I hear things, and I know that this, if not the one of the biggest fights of your career at this point. Oh yeah, definitely. Right? For sure. A lot of eyeballs are on you. Um I also heard that a lot of people don't uh particularly say you don't have you don't have a power punch. Oh my god, yeah, I never heard You've that. heard that before? Ask some niggas I've been in the ring with. Okay. <laughs> Ask, them. <laughs> Ask them. Okay, okay. Ask them. That's all I'm going to say, but yeah. Looking at my record, you could tell that obviously I don't got no ninety percent knockout ratio. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying. But again, ask the people I've been in the ring with, and ask their side too. They know I can punch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. You, you fought space. this kid a couple times, but yeah, you lost, though, kid. kid. I did. I lose. heard about you lost, God. I did lose. I'm I keeping feel. But you look like so. The reason we fought, the, the reason we fought twice, uh -huh. is because the first time we did fight. Obviously, I thought I won, but they took a point from me that was like, they took a point from both of us, but they took a point from me that shouldn't have been, you know, that shouldn't have happened. They cheated. Got Boom. you. Don't worry about it. I said it. You ain't got to say it. Don't so it. so <laughs> we sent the tape to USA Boxing. USA Boxing overlooked it, and they sent me to the Nationals as well. We fought in a regional tournament. Mm -hmm. You got to win the state regional to go to the Nationals to be crowned national champion. Mm-hmm. We fought in the championship of the regional championships, sent the tape through. They sent me an at-large bid to the Nationals. We was on two different sides. We both beat everybody for the championship, and I lost a close you fight. You lost. And I lost a close fight yes. there, too. Uh -huh. so. so now, 
<coughs> Excuse me. I got. I don't know what happened to me today. That's because that water you drink is. I like this water, right? So that fake sugar. That's now trash. this it is, is right? this That's is right. this. Oh. Now you got to revenge yourself, right? And you got to revenge DC. Oh yeah. So, I I feel like if if this don't go the way it's supposed to go, you can't go to DC for like a month. I'm just playing yeah, with you. Never. 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 I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. That never happened. I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. DC, I love DC. I'm just playing. Chill, God, chill. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, we all come in there and we say, we got to make this happen. It's just that um, I, I want to, however I can help, put the eyeballs on you and I want you to, um, or if, if me, your friends, everybody, to, to say that and help people feel that you are a, a, a person that could make this person lose. Yeah, for sure. Um, and like I said to you, the, the, the little that I know about boxing and stuff like that, I do have, I, I feel you can win. It's not me that you sitting here yeah. because if, if I didn't, I probably wouldn't say come to my house. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. She'll tell you. I yeah. know. You understand? Okay. I do feel okay. like I do feel like you could win, right? I don't know about FanDuel and shit like that. Oh, FanDuel got me. But I, I, but yeah. I, but, I, I, but I'm betting. Me I'm betting with you, right? I put the max bet on myself just to let y'all know already about four times already. I might do it again two more times tomorrow. So you do bet on yourself. What? Of you course. should. No, I'm just asking. I don't know. Some people don't gamble. I, I don't look, know. I've been here before. Just to let y'all know too. I've okay. been here before. I spanked FanDuel when I won my championship mm-hmm. because they had me the underdog. Mm-hmm. I spanked them. They well, cleaned up. I, I know this is like kind of like um, letterish or something like that, but you, see, you have a nose, and I know your nose, you can breathe like, you understand what I'm saying? So you're going to have a lot of energy. Like, yo, you, you don't understand. I don't know if anybody ever said that to you. I know that's diet, kind of left, right? Agility, like. No, I'm man. telling you, listen, certain things that that's I look at. Crazy. I'm just telling you, you the oxygen. I'm tell, listen what I'm telling you, the oxygen coming. And yo, look, he boop, just boop. said, he just said, nigga, your nose fat, nigga. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> what he just said. Y'all being honest, right? I'm just saying. Anyway, so as far as boxers are concerned, do you feel you that- You want to make a bet? Oh, who you betting on? I'm betting with him. Oh, oh, I'm not going to bet against him. Oh, okay, I'm just keeping it real. He's officially in front of the show now. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm just- I'm, I'm, real, I'm, real sure. I'm real I'm I'm going to get a couple dollars. The early odds came out as plus 850 just in case. I, I, I don't know what that. Lose. I don't know what that. I, I'm means. just. I don't know about the rounds okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you what come is, in there trying to knock them out, or you just trying to like do? Oh, I'm trying to do everything I can to secure the win. Now, if I see something, I'm going to take it. You know, I'm going to try to take it to that. But you know, other than that, do you come in fights saying, "Yo, I want to knock this person out"? I came into a few fights to be like, "I'm trying to knock this person." Now, my last fight, I was like, "Look, he can't sit in there with me for longer than mm-hmm. X, Y, Z," and then. He went down twice in the fourth. I thought it was over. I don't know about it, Grace. You know what happened? My dad was in the corner celebrating and shit like that. I think he looked up and was like, oh, no, nah, they got me fucked up. And he got up and the round ended. Boom. I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker tough. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I ended up knocking him out. And, uh, that was my defense at home and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm locked in, bro. I'm locked in. It's gonna be. I'm, I'm trying to make it as much of a terrible night for him as I can. You know what I mean? Be a terrible time. night. Is Freddie Roach your dad? No. Oh. Uh. Uh-uh. You heard no. that before? Freddie. You want- yeah. I mean, people ask if we're related mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but nah, we're not. You used to get joked on about your last name when I was a kid. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, you're mad at Tutu, so they always like, "Yo, Tutu, Abby, Tutu." That's what I'm asking. Tutu's your last name? No, I didn't say that's my. That's my name. What's your name? Tutu. You never knew that? Your name name, like yeah. on your birth certificate? So, so, she, yeah. so, no, so, she, so she's been a guest in your house and don't know your I know him by, te- no, by Terrence. Yeah, but government. She, that's my government. We, we may have to bleep that out because he's very... No, I don't care. Don't make a you can but Google Tutu, Google like on your birth yeah, certificate, right. it's Tutu? T-U dash T-U. You yeah. know, Tank oh, got can't. a lot of troll fans and all that too. So, you know, a couple of Roach like references definitely like you're gonna get stepped on uh, like a road <laughs> so or you're gonna get braided out and shit like that. I'm just like <laughs> that's kind of funny though. <laughs> that, is, that 
that is funny. That is kind of that funny. funny. That is kind of funny. That funny. That's funny. That's, but That's I, 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 this is no, uh, no New York game, no New York G. I do, I do really sincerely feel that you are going to win. This one I feel good about, um, and I know it's weird stuff, and I'm, I'm being honest. I said, damn, look at this nigga nose. He going to win, God. I'll be, nah, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I know it's weird. I know. I said, yo, this nigga could breathe. I'm telling you, like, That's breathing crazy. is the hardest thing. I'm telling you, when you fighting, your, your, your breathing is, is everything. So, I, again, I, I do feel that you are going to win. I want to get back to boxing. I know you have some, some questions about the fight. I just want I want to learn about about um uh, about boxing too. So um I, I I asked you about the um going in about knocking out and the, the lasting um different rounds and stuff like that. Um growing up, I I'm, I'm pr- pretty sure people are gonna say Floyd or whatever. Who are like some of the top boxers that you was like, oh my god, and why? So the boxers that I really like growing up, probably like as a kid, like I like Prince Nassim. I don't know if you knew him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Prince Nassim. I actually I like Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya was uh, was like that. I ain't gonna lie. Um, five time, maybe six time, six division world champion. Mm-hmm. Five like champion in all them divisions. When Oscar came out, he was the Golden Boy and all that. He was he was nice. Mm-hmm. Um, who else did I like? I like Sugar Ray Leonard, um, and that my cousin put me onto him heavy. Like when I was a kid, mm-hmm. he sent me like his amateur tapes when he won the Olympics and his professional stuff and all that stuff. So he was one of my he was one of my favorite boxers, and um, yeah, that's back and and Roy Jones. Okay, Roy Jones is a beast. I was gonna ask because I feel like which Roy Jones like the rapping one or the box? No, just play. (laughs) (laughs) I was just gonna say because it feels like a like there is a crop of boxes that were considered greats, but they don't really get their just due. Like you don't really hear people say like a Holyfield or Lennox Lewis. Like I mean, well, to the boxing world, they are crazy great. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe outside of like the hardcore fans, maybe not. Yeah, but Holyfield, you gotta think, and Holyfield beat everyone's favorite. Fighter Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. so that's probably taking you know. A, a I think they cheated him. I'm from Brooklyn, man, so I'm like, <laughs> we gonna take that stuff. L. You oh know what I'm man! And he smashed. He did. He did smash before he was in the hotel. With Who, the Mike? Yeah, that's why. What? See, listen. <laughs> allegedly, he made his allegedly. choice. Allegedly, <laughs> he made allegedly. his choice. <laughs> No, but I think yeah. it's interesting that you that you mentioned like Sugar Ray because you it's just names that you just don't hear so often, and mm. I guess maybe because nineties was like I mean boxing was really big in the nineties, and it seems like maybe like MMA kind of like took the forefront in the UFC. It's trying, but it's, it's trying, trying to make a comeback though. It is like you see it more. Yeah, like, boxing is boxing is is doing this thing now. We've been having some great fights mm-hmm. in the last couple of years, and um, the best are starting to fight the best. And I look. Do to you think Tank to Tank be that. ducking fights? Nah, I don't think so. Don't okay. let him get you in, like. Nah, like real shit. No, I just, I just don't think so. I, I be hearing stuff like this. It's like, a lot of, it's a lot of like men in this sport that, you know, what I'm saying they get in there. So I wouldn't necessarily deem a lot of men scared of another man, but because there's a lot of shit that come with it. It's like you got to think the business. Sometimes the business don't line up. Sometimes people do price themselves out of fights, like okay. ask for a crazy number. You know they're not gonna give it to you. Niggas be like, "Oh well, we trying to make the fight, but they didn't give they us." They won't give us some money. Uh huh. Come on, bro. You're not. You're not that. You're not gonna get that money. Mm-hmm. So you're not gonna get that money nowhere. So why you ask me for mm-hmm. it? and stuff like that? But I don't. I don't necessarily think he ducking. I think if he had to, if the cars lined up right, I think that he'd be able to fight the people that he want to fight. Um, when you beat him, who would you want to fight next? That's a good question. I want to be able to defend both titles because I'm the I'm the champion at 130. Mm-hmm. So I want to be able to defend at 35 <laughs> and 30. So whatever is more appealing, and what I want to do. So maybe I fight a champion at 35 if it's available. But I got smoked with somebody at 130, or a couple people at 130. I want to go. I want to be undisputed at 130. Okay. So I want to win those belts, but I still want to fight at thirty five. And obviously, the bigger names are at thirty five. I want to. I want to fight all the guys that people would want me to fight. But like who? 
Who? Does, <coughs> I mean, you got everybody who's who's a champion. So like, let me name the champions. You got the guy from Ukraine that I forgot his name. Branch. Uh, if you got his name, he's not hot. Don't worry about that. That's fine. <laughs> he had just won a title from uh, a vacant title. Lomachenko, uh, Shakur Stevenson, and then, um, the other one is Tim. I did so, hear that you were scared of Shakur Stevenson. I you ain't that. never heard that. I'm playing with you. I'm trying to bait him. I'm trying to bait him. I'm trying to bait him. You ain't never heard that. And nobody, <laughs> nobody yeah, never heard that. <laughs> nobody never heard my name and scared. And scared. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm trying to get him. Nah, I'm but the, you know he's from Newark. He's from Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, he but too far guys, from you, though. Y'all could have, you know. I, no, I know him. I, okay. I have him like get ready for a fight. Two hours. I have him get ready for a fight okay. when he fought Oscar Valdez and stuff like that. Like, he cool. And he, oh, you taught him what to do? No, nah, I, I ain't taught him what to do. Okay. I ain't told him, but I helped him out. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, What you mean I you helped him out? Help him just telling him. We was gonna, he, came to, he asked me to come to camp. Oh, he asked you for him. your advice? So you know him outside no, of the <laughs> he, <laughs> he asked me to spar with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. so. So, so you snuffed him? A couple times. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. If I snuffed him, he snuffed me. Nah, no funny, no funny though. He, he, he cool though. I'm just, I'm just asking a question. He spawned with him, he snuffed him. You snuffed him. Yeah, he even probably snuffed yeah. me a couple of times. I mean, you know, I but you he... snuffed him more. Um, man, we ain't say that. So he snuffed you more? We definitely I'm confused. Say that. I'm, I like, we definitely ain't say that. It had either. to be somebody, somebody Bro, had 10 know. and somebody had It was had good five. work. Okay, good. It was good work. It was a good workout. Yeah. So you feel like you could beat him? I feel like I can beat anybody. Okay. But what about him per se? If you if he was to ask me, you, you think you, you can be me? Now, God, no, this is not how DC this. niggas rock, man. If he if he, if DC he don't rock like that, me, God. if he was to ask me, do you think you could beat me? I'm gonna be like, yeah, nigga, of course. The same way he would do the same thing. Okay. I'm sorry, damn, yeah. DC, I, yo, DC was something. You supposed to nah. be? I knocked that out. He, he, I'm just I mean, playing I with you. I'm out. playing with you. Nah, listen, we it's all love. I'm just yeah, just nah, joking. Nah, sure. it's love though. Shout out to Shakur. That nigga can fight. Mm-hmm. He yeah, just can't sure. beat you. He just can't beat you. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody can beat me. Uh-huh. But he particularly can't beat you. Nah, particularly Tank can't beat me. Sure. <laughs> and I'm going to win some money from this one, too. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. So <laughs> besides boxing, do you see yourself, like, for instance, like George Foreman, he did a lot of big things outside of boxing. Like, everyone in their mother had a George Foreman grill in the 90s. Like, yeah, do you see I, yourself... We had one. Huh? We had one. Everyone did. I had, like, two. Um, do you see yourself branching out of boxing in a, on a business level? Of course. Yeah, definitely. Or, or even arts, like acting, anything like that? All of that. What honestly. you got coming? Uh, no, I don't got nothing coming right now. But what would you like to do then? I would like to get in. I would like to get in front of a camera. I would like okay. to. I also want to do my. Um, I want to start my own podcast with me and my brother. My brother's a, my little brother. He's everybody's antagonist for sure. So I know that's going to be like they're going to love to hate him. And they gonna he gonna make me look so good. <laughs> he's an asshole. Mm-hmm. He is an asshole, bro. So I want to do like a, I want to do something similar to this. Like mm-hmm. this is this is a nice space, bro. This is a nice space, and your platform is a huge platform, and that's something that I want to create for myself as well. Mm-hmm. And um and branch off of that, maybe get a couple acting gigs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you want to act? Yeah, what I'm kind of role would you play if you could ha- do anything you want? If wanted you to. ask me, I think I could act. Okay. Honestly, mm-hmm. just okay. Don't no experience or none of that shit. I think 50 I got you got another mm-hmm. series you know coming. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. what kind of role? Like, like, would you play a good guy, a bad guy, a superhero? Like, who? Like, what kind of role? If you could make I can any role with a superhero, I don't think I could do that. I don't okay. think so. Okay. I probably had to go to acting school class for that. But um, I could do the. I definitely can do the good guy role. I can do the bad guy role. Um, I could do the. I could do the supporting cast. I could be the best supporting actor. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could be a nigga best friend. I could be <laughs> okay. I could be the I could be the crazy ex. I could be the I could see you as the crazy oh, ex. Oh man, no, I don't like that. I'm gonna take that back. I think it's I think it's the light eyes. Like I feel like, you know what I mean? Like it like, might be his nose. It might be no, it's his eye. <laughs> no, because you could, you could, you could play like no, listen, you the like the Michael. Because you got licensed hands, so I mean, no, you can't. That's shit is fake. As a matter of fact, thing. I wanted that's to ask real. you. That's not real. What are you talking about? That's not real. That's not a real thing. No. You sure? That's what people say to get out of fights, especially when you're in school and you're young. No way. I never knew that. I gotta Google that. For the world to know, there's no such. You don't go anywhere to go sign your hands. You don't register anything. It's either you box or you don't. Okay. Really? That's it. It's either somebody press charges or they don't. 
Oh. I got to Google that, man, because you're going to get some boxer jammed up. Nah. <laughs> no. They got jammed up because of, even they have notoriety, they got some money, whatever the case may be, and they oh, okay. decided to I saw no charges. more nose jokes. Don't hit me, please. No, I'm so <laughs> shocked. This whole time, I thought that was a yeah, real no, thing. Yeah, no, that's fake. That's fake. Who's going to win the World Series? I like Otani. I'm talking about, uh, are you talking about the, the what's it, the Baseball. Dodgers? The Dodgers. Oh, mm-hmm. Listen, I, I can do basketball. Yeah. I can do baseball. I think I'm, I'm going with the Dodgers too. I like you going against New York. Yeah. I, I, listen, I, I am. I'd like to win. This is believable. You ain't see the other clips where he was like Plaza's his favorite rapper. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, against yeah, like Nas right. and Jay Z. Oh, I like Plaza. Yes. I like Plaza. It ain't no shade to Plaza. I, I love him. Yeah, but... that's all I say. It's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. I like Plaz. I, I fuck with Plaz. Oh, Ice Cube versus Nas. He goes for Ice Cube. Like, this is his thing. No, like, I, just because I, he's from I, I here. I like winners. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that's why I said, he's I crazy. know you're going to win. He's crazy. Right? So, I mean, still train. You know what I'm saying? But there's already in the cards that you're going to win. I so, like I like winners. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But, but, um, but I do like the Dodgers. I think, again, I'm not into sports. I'm just, I'm into visuals. And I see, I could see the Dodgers winning. And again, like you said, I'm from New York, so I'm supposed to go Yankees. But I know who's going to win. I'm telling you, anytime I said somebody's going to win, they always won. Keep it veal. I mean, they're that unfortunately. So I know, I, 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 I have, I have, I've been having this gift since I don't know how long. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Okay. I don't, but for me, home team over everything. I don't care if deep down on the like side. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we're loyal. For sure. We're loyal people. Yeah, I'm loyal to the bread. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that in, in the aspect. Yeah, okay. for sure. That's that's where that's where that's where I'm making it happen at. And I'm telling you, you're gonna win. I know you're like, yo, yo, this guy's selfish. Nah, 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 I promise you. I promise you it's gonna be a W. I don't know how. I don't that part I don't see. I don't know if it's the knockout or a uh, um well, you need to start or the distance. seeing. You need, to, you need to start seeing and you okay. give me a call. All right. All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> that part, I don't know. Who um other boxers that you are very cool with? Uh, like when I say cool with, I uh, hang out, speak. Yeah, hang, hang, yeah, Outs- like, outside of sparring. Not the sparring, I don't think. I think yeah, that's nah, just business. Sure. What about cool? Yo, oh, you fucked up? I fucked up too. I don't know. Uh, do you know uh, Stephen Fulton, Cool Boy Steph? Okay. Yeah, that's my, that's my homie. Like, out of all the boxing men, um, that I, you know what I'm saying, that's not from my area, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. He, that's really like, that's really my guy. We actually hang, like hang out and talk to each other and shit like that. Like, yeah, went to a Diddy party we, together? We, we would never go to a Diddy party. Okay. <laughs> never. I've never been invited to a Diddy party and I probably won't. Ever okay, be yeah, now, to right? A yeah. Party. <laughs> <For sure>. <laughs> <laughs> Wish, <I'm not. laughs> Where's your favorite place to box? Where's my favorite place to box? Somebody just asked me this too. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe Madison Square Garden, and mm-hmm. and it's because the the atmosphere is crazy. Mind you, I fought at Madison Square Garden before, and it's the mecca of boxing and stuff like that. But it was the fight that I wasn't in that I experienced the electricity in the air. Like when it happened, I'm just like, damn. I'm like, it gave me chills, mm-hmm. and I'm like. Bro, it's sold out. Triple G's coming out, and they going crazy. Triple G is from Kazakhstan. Mm-hmm. He got crazy fans in here going crazy. And then that fight was just, it was it was a good fight. And mm-hmm. then it was just like, damn, like I can feel that. So it might be Madison Square Garden, Garden just just because of that. The electricity, sure. it's a different type of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you listen to, like when you're working out, getting ready for a fight? Like, Plaz. <coughs> not never, <coughs> not never. No disrespect, um, but it's not Plaz. <laughs> I'm on some. I'm on the youngins like hard. Like right now, it's when I'm getting in that mood. It's like I gotta be in the same. I gotta listen to something that's getting me in the same mood that's getting me ready for this fight. And I'm on kill, so I'm listening to all types of. New York drill rap, Chicago drill rap. Okay. DC, uh, DC free car music. If y'all know what that is, if, if you don't, go listen to it. It's 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 a it's a lot of stuff. It's uh, called DC free car music. Explain free that, cause music. I. No, it's like oh now I definitely want you to tell me. Free car music. Freak out or free con? Free car. 
Oh, free. Oh, like like you would rob somebody. Like a stolen like that because that's it's a. Sad to say, look, 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 sad to say, it's a problem in our city. It's a lot of- That you steal cars. It's stolen stolen cars every, yes, it's, it's, that's what it is. It's a lot of theft, it's a lot of Uh auto theft, and and senseless violence. Sad to say, they rob a lot. No, of course, listen, you're talking to people in the music industry, we know what it is. So, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just, and then I, you know what I'm saying, I be around some of them, or you know what I'm saying, know them, or like, or in cahoots with, the people that are making the music, so you know what I'm saying, mm. like that's that's just how it is. You so, so you in the mix? Yeah. Uh, no, bro. Oh, okay. No. I'm just asking a question because come on, no, we were get <laughs> anyway. So 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 you hang out with rappers? Yeah, I hang out with rappers. So who you hang with? Um, I hang with Situation Slim. I don't know if you heard him. He's a new DC mm. rapper. He been, okay. Uh, he just recently got released from prison about a year ago, and then made a crazy mark. As soon as he got out rapping, hit the few, hit the ground running. Okay. Um, he's getting a lot of notoriety in the city. Um, I know I was supposed to do like a segment or something like a boxing segment actually with Fat Trail. Okay. Um, Front of know, the show. Um, it's like a little yeah, another for another show like a little aspect like a bring rappers to the gym and see if they can do your workout type. Well, that's cool. You know cool. what I'm saying? Something like that. And um, so I, I just hang with a lot of people and then a lot of people that who are in cahoots with other rappers uh like that so you know it's it's even one of my even one of my guys on my team you know he used to rap he's in the music he's in the music industry like you know what i'm saying he got his hands in different pockets mm-hmm. everywhere like right there so you know that's a cool guy he 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 gonna be the one to put me around a lot of other people too so it'll be a surprise especially when i especially when i come out on december 14th y'all gonna be surprised about who i choose oh, to the, walk out with so you are gonna bring somebody out yeah i'm gonna bring somebody out Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be looking out. Head. So, give us like five songs off your playlist, then, or off your your <laughs> workout playlist. Like, give us like five songs, just so we see who you listen to. Like, exactly. All right, let me let me look on my phone real quick. <laughs> let me look on my phone real quick I so I can choose the to. ones. I'm gonna go to look at my <laughs> my gym playlist. And yes. Choose some of the best ones. Cause I be in the gym too. Maybe I need to put it on my playlist too. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna be you're yeah. gonna be cranking. You won't go. You or maybe I already have it on my playlist. Yeah. Or maybe. I that'd, might. Be, that'd be a shock. I might. Oh. That'd be a shock. He's testing me. I might be. He's testing me. I might be. You know what I be listening to. <laughs> yeah, she be listening to that drill stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of it? DC Car. What? Free, free car, car music. What's free car music? What's that? DC free car music. Free car? Yeah. This is my guy. He's from DC. Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's good? What's up, DJ? How you? I'm, yeah, you know that. You know that for sure. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, we're in New York. Yeah, we're in New York, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, this the this this I'm bet I'm betting on DC this time, God. Don't let me down. See, he from he a Baltimore. He, he. <laughs> Are you here? Be a Baltimore nigga too. See? I forgot you a Baltimore See? nigga. I forgot you were part of, hey, listen, this, I, yo, I, I love this right now because we on tape. <laughs> I want to bet you because I want to show him how real I, I am that he might think I'm g him. <laughs> I want to bet you right now. No, listen, yes or no, let's bet. Let's bet, nigga. I understand that. How much you want to bet? <laughs> I don't want to hear all the song and dance. Give me my money. That's how you say it, right? I've been in DC for 25 years. Understood. What that got to do with the tea in price China in China? Everything. Because I'm I'm a rule with both sides, but if I had to pick one, uh oh. You the the damn right there. I, I let's bet. I want I want to I want to show you who you should have picked. So let's bet. Uh, that's cool. I understand that. <laughs> Let me help you out. Let me help you out. I'm I'm ro- I'm rolling with Roach. Let's do it. How much you want to make a bet? I understand that. Yeah. We cool. So <laughs> listen, the Yankees is my niggas too, but they're gonna lose. That's fine. <laughs> Let's bet. Hater. I can't take you back. And you know we bet all the time. We do, and you lose all the time. Let's let's get that clear. Uh oh. My nigga, I made you, I made, I made, I made a meme about you, dog, because you don't like to pay when you lose. 
And we only bet once, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, pay the, let's bet, nigga. All right, you know what? You may not want to bet in front of him. That's fine. I got you. I'll call you later. I want to take your money. I understand that. Well, they both ain't my guy. He's my guy. I want to bet. <laughs> All right, bye, my nigga. All right. I'm just showing you. I'm, I, I ain't lying to you. Right, I sure. know you're going to win. And I don't lose. Say that. Say so that. You, you ain't going to lose. You ain't going to lose. This I, I know. Don't worry about that. You ain't going to lose. Cheeseburg on me when I win. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I'm like, from, from Charles Prime, too. I heard about that. I ain't get to go. <laughs> what mark at? All right, Fort Charles. Yeah, Fort Charles Prime. Yeah, for sure. I want to go. Okay. My man, so. I could afford it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple dollars. Yeah. You Am still I, owe so, me a burger, but go on. <laughs> so... I like the song Diz Wiz from Young Dizzy. Okay. That's going that's 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 gonna put you in your if you if you on grind mode and you trying to get something up out of there, that's what that's what that's what I'm gonna go to for okay. sure. Um I like Baby Chief Do It. He from Chicago. Young, he like sixteen. Mm. But all he rap about is sliding. Like, okay. <laughs> so, the Chicago music. Exactly. Basically. So snooze you lose, that's in my playlist for sure. Um, what else? Situation Slim Surgery. I like that one. And um No Savage from DC. Reaper, my go to. Mm. My nickname is the Reaper. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's that. And then let me see. I'ma go I'ma go back to Situation Slim. No, I'm gonna go young threat. I'm gonna go young threat. And I'm gonna go free car music from Young Threat. Hmm. Free car music. Yes. I need to go look all these. I'm surprised yeah, I don't have you, any. You slacking, girl. Oh, please, like you have anyone. You slacking. Yeah. You slacking. Please, please. Yeah, I sure. mean, I, the young is I can't keep up. I'll be honest. Exactly. You, I, all the time yeah. I tell people, I just learned about some 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 new guys uh, as of recent too, and I'm just like, whoa, I, I, I I'm out of touch. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you, I'm not afraid. Like some people be. Afraid. That's why you always should ask. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm gonna little shimmy. Out, though. You heard a little shimmy? Low, low shimmy. shimmy. Yeah. yeah I, you see what I, I'm saying? I hear him. I, I've heard yeah. him. See, you don't even know. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I lost my touch. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I did. I did. I lost my touch. I used low to shimmy. Uh, R R2R Mo. R2R Mo. And there's another kid named Hurricane Wisdom. I'm thinking about two. Big X the plug. Big X the plug. I love him. Oh yeah, I love him. Yeah, he's so yeah, man. He's a cool guy. Oh yeah, I did. I definitely did. So that was uh. See, I'm fo. I'm see, I'm I'm getting you know yeah. Unk is focused, man. Don't worry about it. Focused. Unk is focused. Yeah, Unk is focused. Go Unk. Go Unk. So what does this upcoming fight mean for your legacy? Oh, it means everything. It's this fight can solidify possibly my Hall of Fame run. And I'm going to mm. say that because right now, amongst the boxing world and the casuals, uh, uh, Tank Davis is like one of the faces of boxing. And, he, and to me, I think he is too. You know what I'm saying? So why not me be the one who... I don't even necessarily like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock him off for a moment. He can regroup and recover with somebody else, but it's my time then. You know what I'm saying? So that can start, that can definitely solidify, start, or jump start my legs, because it's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm 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 make my Hall of Fame run with or without him. But, you know what I'm saying? I plan on doing it with this fight. I plan on jump starting it with this fight. That's gonna catapult me. And then we're gonna go crazy after that. What do you say to the people that don't believe that you are going to be the winner this December? I just, I got, I got two words for you. Told you. <laughs> That's it. I can't wait until after the fight so I can say those two exact words. I'm going to look dead in the camera and be like, told you. For sure. And then tell them the sushi. <laughs> <laughs> does, does, does it bother you? I, I'm pretty sure you hear it. But does it bother you that that people um, are, are don't feel that you will win? Nah. Okay. Because I, I can't do nothing. Does about it motivate it. you? I can't do it. Does it, it motivates okay. me for sure? It doesn't bother me, but I can't do nothing about it. People won't talk. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I can't stop them from talking and I can't stop them from going to my page and comment this, comment that, and we do it like it's inevitable. And especially when you got a superstar of his caliber. So it's gonna happen. It's just it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the game. Mm -hmm. That's my father said. So December fourteenth, that's when the tide gonna change. <laughs> I like that saying. I'm stealing yeah. that. Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah, for sure. How do you navigate like the na negativity online? Because I feel like a, like we're seeing a, a lot more of that. I, I, maybe it's the news cycle because every day it's like a new Diddy allegation. Like it just feels like there's a lot. The yeah. news cycle is heavy. So this, I feel like people are talking even more shit online than they usually are. So how do you deal with that? I just let it be. Sometimes I get a little antsy and respond. You know what I'm saying? Like s some people. To my left, be telling me not to respond, but that's yeah. Good sometimes, advice. like you know, what I'm saying like sometimes I be bored for real. For real. Like, <laughs> it don't bother me. It's just like, all right, let me call him a dick eater real quick. And cause then, I got time. And, today. Yeah, cause I got time. And then, and then I, you know, I leave it alone. Let me tell him he on, you know, what I'm saying he on bullshit right now. Let's, let me correct him, and then we just go on about my day. So you know, it don't it don't bother me. And again, I got receipts. So after the fight. I can really just be like, oh, wasn't you saying this? <laughs> wasn't you saying that? You know, so, you know, I ain't worried about that. He's going to win. <laughs> I think so, too. We're rooting for you. Apartment 5 Nation's rooting for you. Thank you. Thank you. For real. He's gonna, and I, I'm going to be I, back I, with the belt. I, oh, you got to come back. You got to come back. I mean, back. listen, I, I went on Wild and Out, and I got the belt. This oh, is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went on Wild and Out and got the belt. This is the real Wild and Out belt. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I know you're used to holding belts. But you know what I'm saying? This yeah. is a wild and out belt. Yeah. This is a real wild and out belt. I know. We've had this conversation. And I'm not a rapper, and I won. <laughs> oh, yeah, you beat him in the wild style. Yeah, I beat him in the wild style. Oh, yeah, I beat him in the wild style. Yeah. Man, uh -huh. Nick Cannon got something. You did shit. good. You did good. He yeah. did good. I beat him in the wild and out thing, kid. That's what's up. That's you know what I'm saying? Right you got to come back with your belt. Y'all both sit with the belt. Like, yeah, be like, yeah, winners. So when I win that belt, I'm going to have two belts. I'm going to be champion in both weights, too. Yeah, because he already have a belt. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He got a belt already. He, oh, you he, about to talk he, he, he went up. double he went the up shit. in weight. You about to talk double the shit. What? I'm not used to wearing belts. I don't know if it, are you supposed to open it or are you supposed to yeah, just you leave can it? Just, you can yeah, you can leave it like that and then just put it on your shoulder. Oh, put it on your shoulder like this. Yeah. Like a fanny Easy. pack? So let me this is another question, right? <laughs> um, let's say, let's say when you when you win. Do you keep the same belt he had, or they make you a new belt? Oh uh, no, they make you a new belt. So after after I win, I'll take the belt into like you know, what I'm saying they'll give it to me, and I'll take it to the locker room, and then I'll just return it to him. Oh, and then they give you a brand new belt. Yeah, they send you a belt in the mail. Oh, but so he gets to keep that belt. Yeah, he gets it. It's his personal belt. Yeah. Oh, and oh. then so who makes the belt? Oh, the sanctioning body. So oh, okay. We're fighting for the WBA World Championship, so mm -hmm. they'll make another one and send it out. Oh, okay. So, so but he gets to keep his, he keep, his keep belt. It. But you take it from you take it you take it from him when you yeah when I win yeah uh -huh. like the belt will go with me and they'll go in the locker room and stuff like that. So that's how. So when I won my first championship, I beat the champion to get my belt. So I had to do the same thing. Like mm -hmm. they gave me the belt, and then after I got dressed and stuff, and I, I was talking shit in the locker room and all that stuff, I returned. You must feel you must suck. Somebody give you your belt back like yo, huh? And you just like damn. <laughs> That's how I was. That's and like then, a fucked up he didn't speak English, so it was like I kind of figured like they probably was talking shit or something mm -hmm. like that when I walked in there because it got real quiet. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. You give him, you go back and I, give yeah, him. Yeah, I go back there and give him. That's I mean, crazy. I just, that's like well, after the fight, you gotta hold it, right? Is that right? what it is? Yeah. That's what it is. After the fight, they give it to you, you stunt with it, and then you go back and you give it to no, them. No, but and listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm saying that I don't if I'm if I'm hearing it clearly. You go back and be like, oh, this this, yeah, this, this, yeah, this, this, this is what I just yours. beat you for, nigga. Yeah, huh? Take this shit back. Yes, yes. That's yeah. crazy, God. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll be like, man, keep that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, I'm not going to lie. I probably would too. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, man, man. that is shit. Like, nah, yeah, so that. I think that's how he felt, though. Because I would have felt that way. Yeah, like, I would have too. It, but like I said, they was talking before I walked in the locker room. Okay, and everybody just got like this. Yeah, they definitely was talking shit. Yeah. And then I was just like, I was like, here you go, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, try to make it say words that he probably heard before. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity and all that. He was like, all right, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so a breakout dude. Not a good sport. <laughs> I was like, man, I could have sent somebody else in here to bring me yeah, in. Right? Right? So, like, I'm trying to show you Well, respect. maybe he took that as disrespect. Because I, I probably would. I'll that's be honest with you. That's how it happens, though. Okay. That's, that's how, how it's that's standard. standard. That's pretty much standard. 
Don't wow. let don't let nobody change who you are. If you are yeah, a good person sure. and that's what you do, don't let nobody take that away from you. Man, what that got to do with you rubbing No, because he face? said he said I could have sent someone else. And I'm just trying to give some words of inspiration because I feel like that's lately good. people have been testing me. Yeah. And I have been remaining on my path, you know? It's so okay don't let nobody take you off. I mean, don't tell me that because it's not once in a while. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm learning. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, don't let nobody take, if you are a good person, continue being a good person and that's it. Yeah, for sure. The belt that you have now, was that, did Gervonta have that same championship years ago? Am I confusing? I knew it. So that was one of my moves. Yeah, he he was oh. the WBA. So wait, uh, so you about to wait? Go ahead. He was a WBA 130 pound champion too. So you about to have two of his belts? I didn't. T so I didn't take it from him. It was from someone else. It was but from still, someone else. Technically, but it was, he was the WBA champion at 130. I want to say before before he moved up and fought for the 130 pound cha championship. Did, did you look at your old fights? I don't know if it's on. It's, it's actually is on, on tape. YouTube. Yeah, but did you look and was like, all right, I know how he how he fights. That fight shit him. is old. That shit don't matter. So you think that every, both of y'all got different styles? Both of us have evolved as fighters. Okay. So he's way better. I'm way better. Is it that none of like that? Uh, -uh that that don't work. And if it does work, that means he was stagnant and hasn't gotten better, and he wouldn't be who he is today if he did, if he ain't got better. Uh, well, I, I have, I, I know I'm going to be a little bit richer. Yes. Well, good. You can buy all of yes. us burgers. Y'all all come back. What is it? What is that burger again? Four Charles Prime Rib. Four Charles Prime what Rib. What is it? Prime. Four Charles Prime. Yes. Medium well. Thank you. Well, I, I, I would do it today, but I, I don't want you to eat no beef until, <laughs> until pause. Pause. Until January. That was a super pause. That yeah. was. That until was January. Until January. <laughs> But I, I'm I'm 100% guaranteed, I'm saying this on camera again, that you will be the victor. Yeah, for sure. I am. I'm a back and and, and uh, again, uh, the weird, the weirdest thing is, I said, this guy's Here nose. He go. <laughs> Here he <laughs> goes. <laughs> I promise you, I don't know. I, listen. I really hate the fact that every time you do this, you do win, though. Like, I hate it. Like, I'm I hate telling that. you. I mean, at this see, point, I, will, I like it, but yeah. I hate because he's very pompous. <laughs> I, I, again, I, to, I feel like I have a gift. You understand what I'm saying? And it, it, it be the weirdest thing. It's not, it don't be, yo, this person's skills, because, like, even um, the Super Bowl and stuff like that, I don't know about sports. I say, yo, their uniforms, they're going to win. The like, color of their uniform, like, it just be little, little stuff, stuff like that. that. They're going to win. Okay, and when I first saw you, I said, this nigga knows he's going to win. <laughs> Yo, talk about how he's like, maybe he predicts the future because he's like a Buddha. He got a little belly. Say something oh, back to him. Yes, oh, I don't care. Like you got it, you got it prepped already. Go ahead, give me some more. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, listen. I got you, okay? I, I, I'm Teflon. I, got I done you. heard every joke yeah. about me in North America. You Tell know what I'm saying? It, yeah. So I don't care. I know no, you don't, don't care. Don't make a difference I know you me. don't care. You understand? Yeah, that part, I don't care. I got my belt. He going to have his two belts. And right. we're gonna be belted up. I need a belt too. You know what I'm saying? Sweet. I'm about to get my, my WWF Lastly, belt. Lastly, do you want to say anything to anybody in that camera? Buy the pay per view. How do you buy it? How many times I'm gonna say it? Buy the pay per view. It's probably, it's, I mean, mostly, not most likely. It's gonna be on Amazon Prime pay per view. You can go on your Amazon account and purchase the fight. You search up uh, Javante Davis or Lamont Roach, whatever the case may be. Boxing, you're gonna see it December 14th. Buy the pay per view. Purchase the pay per view. Buy the pay per view. If you're not there, and for real, for real, it shouldn't be no reason why you're not there. It's gonna be the hottest fight of the, uh, of the year. It's gonna be the most electric fight of the year, and um, the atmosphere is gonna be crazy just because, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, we're gonna bring we're gonna bring it out for the culture. We're gonna bring it out for the boxing world. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fire. Listen, the, the, we gonna put the link down below, please. Watch, I, I, even if you don't watch it for him, watch it for me. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I know <laughs> these things, and you're going to be like, then I'm going to probably certify as a psychic or something like that. You know, they're going to be on you crazy too. They're going to be on your line crazy. No, talking about, oh, you going, you been with him, or oh, you stupid, you just, oh, trust I, me. I, I, I know. Well, you <laughs> know what? That's good. That's cool. Exactly. Because, because I'm going I'm, I'm to say those two words too. Told you. Told you. Told you. Told you. Hello. Yeah, nah, for sure. <laughs> Good looking, man. Thank man, you for thank stopping you, by, for man. Sure, for sure. Definitely, All right. Coming.